Ladies and gentlemen, here's the latest report on the coffee situation. As you know, the recent price increase of coffee and the hijacking of coffee trucks recently has caused the public great cause for great concern. And of course, some officials have even commented that there may be an embargo declared upon it. Now, if this should happen, this embargo, that would make the sale of coffee illegal, which could carry us back to the old days of the speakeasy. In fact, according to Keith Brazell and Jean Wesson, we might be seeing scenes like this. Hello, Hazel. Can I buy you a drink? Sure. We have a couple of drinks up here, Gus. Instant drip or regular? Regular. Make mine drip. Right. <laughs> regular. And the drip. How about a chaser? Yeah, yeah, a little cream on the side. <laughs> hey. That'll be a dollar and a half. I remember when you could buy this stuff for a nickel a cup. Yeah. Well, how's the boyfriend? Oh, Louie's fine. I'm expecting him here right now. You know, I'm worried about him. Well, he sure is cleaning up with this place. Yeah, but I wish he'd get out of this coffee racket. Relax, relax. It's only Louie the boss. Hiya, Snag. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Louie. Hiya, Lefty. Hi, hello there, Mr. Van Orsen. Hi, Hi. hello, Louie. Good to see... Frank! Oh, oh Louie. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Louie. Cheers. Like you said. Louie! Hello, baby. How are you? Louie, I gotta talk to you. Alone. Sure, baby. Come on into the office. We can be alone there. <laughs> All right, honey. Now there's just the two of us. Louie, I'm worried. I understand that Nails Nixon is out to get you on the county you've been muscling in on his territory. Oh, honey, Nails Nixon is through. I took over two of his joints today. Besides, I got nothing to worry about as long as I got the boys around. I even bought us a king-size bed so they can be with me all the time. <laughs> but, Louie, I'm worried about Nails. He's a killer. He won't stop at anything. Honey, there's nothing to worry about. Snag and Herman, here are the two best shots in... <gasps> You're not Herman! No, I'm Irving. Don't you remember, boss? Herman got knocked off yesterday. Oh, yeah, I forgot about him. <laughs> How did it happen? Somebody took a shot at us while we were in the shower. Ah, poor Herman. <laughs> well... At least he died clean. <laughs> I thought you had done it. I had soap in my eyes. Baby, look, don't worry about a thing. I got a little something for you here. <laughs> It'll keep your neck warm. Oh. Isn't it sort of large? Well, it'll keep your knees warm, too. <laughs> oh, Louie. Sorry, baby. But the boys are under orders not to let anybody get close to me. <laughs> what are we going to do when we get married? Well, the boys will think of something. <laughs> Besides, by that time, we'll be on Easy Street, baby. Come here. I want to show you something. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you all that coffee? You said it, baby. There's enough coffee there to keep a million people awake for the next five years. <laughs> you see that little handful of beans? Yeah. Well, it's worth a fortune. You think that necklace is something? Someday I'll buy you a necklace made out of these. Oh, Louie. Oh, Louie, you're rich. Why can't we go away and quit the rackets? I'm scared. Baby, there's nothing to be scared about as long as I got sta... <laughs> Snag! Herman! Where are you? <laughs> I told you never to leave me! Sorry, boss. I guess we must have gone. Huh? What? <laughs> you almost scared the wits out of Hazel here. <laughs> Baby, come on. You need a drink. Hey, boss. Yeah? It's Nails Nixon. Should I let him in? Certainly let him in. We're not afraid of him. Oh, 
Hello, Louie. <laughs> Hello, Nails. <laughs> you down here on business? I ain't saying I am. And I ain't saying I ain't. What are you saying, Bill? I ain't saying. <laughs> kind of gets you, doesn't it? <laughs> Say, it's a nice layout you got here, Louis. You sure came a long way. I remember when you opened your first coffee easy. All you had was a can of sterno and one pot. You're doing pretty good. When you started out, all you had was the can of Sterno. <laughs> I always liked you, Louie, because you can take it. But I don't like you to take it from me. Because when you take it from me, I'll take it from you, and you can take that from me that I'll take it from you if you take it from me. <laughs> There's two ways to take that, Nails. <laughs> I don't care which way you take it is, as long as you don't take it from me. And you can take that from me. <laughs> yeah? Yeah! You wouldn't dare say that to my face. <laughs> Maybe someday I will. Where can we talk? <laughs> Private. Come into my office. <laughs> Want a drink? Sounds good to me. What have you got? Set them up. private stock. <laughs> All right, Nails. Here's mud in your eye. Here's to you, Louie. Mmm. My, that's mighty good stuff. What is it? Pre-war Java, 1939. 39. <laughs> that was a good year. <laughs> Louie! Do you remember Boston Jack, the Philadelphia big shot from Detroit? Wasn't that the guy that got rubbed out in St. Paul by Salt Lake City Sam, the Brooklyn Torpedo from Miami? <laughs> That's the guy, all right. He was rubbed out for trying to muscle in on Pittsburgh John, the Chicago boss from Omaha, who was running New Orleans coffee through Oklahoma City from Baltimore. <laughs> well, what's that got to do with me? I'm a Glendale boy. <laughs> Stop muscling in on my territory, and you'll be alive, Glendale boy. If there is such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't push me too far, Nails. <laughs> <laughs> or my two bodyguards will punch your two bodyguards right in the noses. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, my two bodyguards could take both your bodyguards with both of my hands behind my back. Oh, yeah! Hello? Yeah, just a minute for you. Nail speaking, thank you. <laughs> that was my mouthpiece. Yeah. You know what he told me? What? He said the Treasury Department is cracking down on the coffee racket. He said the town is full of Treasury men. He said they're closing in on every place in the city. He said they just knocked off four joints on the west side, went uptown to knock off five more. He said they're on their way right over here right now. And he says if we know what's good for us, we better scram, but quick. He told you all that just now? Yeah. He said he'd give me the details later. Where's the back entrance? Up the front door. Understand it. I just don't understand oh, it. Oh, Louie, why didn't you 
to quit when I ask you to? It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense? Here I am peddling coffee and I got shot by a T-Man. Oh. <laughs>